Perry, over Valley Moon. How do you beat that? Right. Firstly, don't do it. If everyone just stops bloody doing it. Yeah, it's you, easy to say though, isn't you it? You won't have to beat it. There's two types, there's intentional and unintentional. I've done it, I've, you know, unintentionally. We all have, haven't we? But the intentional overvaluation, the agents need to grow some balls, stop taking the pressure of the hitting their targets, and just get ethical in what they do, um, and be prepared to lose the instruction. This is where the... Yeah, but I've got to hit my targets. Well, this is the problem. It all comes from this corporate structure. It's terrible. Be happy and prepared to lose it. This is on your terms. And by that, I mean price and fee. Yes. Um, and I'm not saying drop, you know, undervalued by 10 grand or, or 10%. You need to value properly. What it's worth. What using, it can sell for. Using stats and using proper proper research. Not the kind of, oh, I'll tell you what it's worth. Show them how you've worked it out. Say, look, I cannot market it a penny over this. If you market at this, you're probably going to get a better outcome. Um, this is my fee. They're probably, you know, 50% we lose, right? So I'm cool with that because 25% of that 50% will get back. Right. A lot of people who go with another agent feel really, really embarrassed to go back to the original agent because it's kind of admitting that, yeah, you told me so. No, nah, it's your job to keep the door open for them. So how do you do that? Then? Really simple. Hey, Mr. Smith. Because they're going to feel quite embarrassed. Yeah, sometimes they won't come back to us. You know, you ring them and, uh, and they just want to stay clear from you because they've chose someone else. You see how it goes online. Hey, Mr. Smith, I noticed you chose so-and-so estate agent. Wish you all the best of luck. My mate was always on if you need any advice. And I think you'll find this video really helpful. Just one video or do you drip feed them stuff? Uh, well, yeah, they're going to a nurture campaign. But the actual... And what's in those videos? Um... Just what to expect in the first few weeks of marketing. Your best price comes in the first three weeks. So you're giving them videos that are going to help them potentially. You're actually giving them more information than their existing than their current agent. Oh, mate, I see price re reductions at three nine 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 fifty. I call the guy and say, look, I know you chose so and so agents, but you really should be at three nine 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 fifty. Give them a call back. They put it at four hundred. He's like, oh, Perry, thanks so much for that. And they probably won't sell it and we'll get it back at the price you want and the fee we want. I've worked out that from the ones you lose, be happy to lose them, because, but you need to create enough opportunities to win in the first place. Yeah? Yeah. If you're struggling for appraisals or free vows, then that's going to be a big problem because you're going to have to win all of them. You need enough to be happy to lose half of them and then you're going to get the other half that you lose back at the fee and price you want. So how do you get more free vows then? Um, give, give, give. So you produce video content about what then what they should expect from their estate agent what's happening you 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 do your property market updates where you talk about what's selling what's what, what where price is going i love those and you're talking about the local property area this is the sort of stuff that people want to listen to yeah so it comes from there we get people ringing saying look i was stopped in the co-op the other day with someone that i said can i put around to the house because she's seen one of my videos on facebook pretty cool but firstly it starts with your current client experience you know, 70% of our appraisals come from recommendation still. The other 10% will come from Facebook marketing and, and, and online free vow tools, uh, uh, online vow. Yeah. They've got their place. It's not our main lead source, but they've got their place just to build a database for future mm -hmm. sellers. Um, so yeah, a mixture of a client experience. Give your very best. I'll, I'll see a price reduction and, and I'll call them and say, look, as well as your price, you've got to switch your picture around as well. You know. So this is a property that you've lost you might, not, might not have lost it, it must be a prospect on a database. Okay, like but you, scan see it. you spot it, you notice the price, and then you just grill them up and say, I think you need to do this. Don't even slag the agent off or no. social swap. Hope it's going well with them. How's the viewings going? Yeah, really well, actually, thanks. Great, it's a lovely house. I'd expect that to be the case. But just bear in mind that you drop your price, you need to change pictures as well, because then it looked like a new price, different picture, new house, more inquiries, more viewings, more offers, less price. But surely you're giving all your best tips away and that will benefit the other estate agent is one yeah but we've had situations people have said i oh, sold with x agent but damn i should have sold the power was spoke because they're the ones that anyone who advice to get it sold um when you change your mindset right change your mindset from what you do for a living estate agents don't sell houses they help people move on to the next chapter of their life right when your whole thinking centers around that 
anything you can do to help them get to the next chapter, you're going to do. Yes. Change your pictures, change your price. Oh, by the way, I can just do it for you if you want and come on with us. Yeah, great. Move machine, you know, give them a free complimentary van on their moving weekend. Even if you didn't sell their house? Yeah. And the amazing thing, beauty is there, right? I bought this van for me and my son's quad bikes. Slapped a sticker on the side with the house by moving machine. Ended up being that people love using it. And on move day, that competitor who sold the house that we were valued into and lost, whose brand outside it on moving day? Big power bespoke. You, but now you've got a, a disciple that loves you to bits. Because, you know, you, you've helped someone without any expectation of return. Yeah, yeah. And, and they'll love you for it, won't they? Yeah, exactly. You must have got recommendations off the back of that. Loads, yeah. There's loads that wish they hadn't signed the contract, but the agent got really lucky and they sold their property in, the, in their 12 weeks. So they had a grudge paying at the end of it. I've not had one in three years, not had four years, not one contested invoice. And I know some agents get that, surely. You know, four years, you must have someone get their invoice think, Jesus Christ, thanks for your invoice, but I don't really feel like I kind of, um, I should be paying seven, eight thousand pounds because this well, happened. Really, yeah. um, I've had none of that. But it's, it's the part which people aren't happy to pay, but it's good value because we would have gotten the best price, 3% more than average agents looking at the stats and we would have saved them because we would handle the negotiations with Elmwood Fletcher. One final tip for all the estate agents in the UK, what could they do tomorrow differently to make them enjoy their job more? Change their thinking from helping people move on the next chapter of their life from selling houses. What game are you in? What, what, what do you actually do?